Welcome back everyone, I'm the Gasa Gengar, and this is Pokemon Soul Silver Randomized. Last time we left off, we just beaten Morty at the Ghost Type Gym, which I think his name was like actually Joe or some shit. I don't know. And I wouldn't shut up about streaming today. Um, I think there's a story event that's actually going to be going down in here. I think we need to beat all the... Yeah. Right. Hey, hey. Stop dancing, serious dance. Show me something like a hula dance. You mustn't push such a request on me. Huh? Are you telling me you don't respect what the customer wants? Well then, I'll show you how to dance. I'll show you a great one. Oh wait, no, that was the Team Rocket member. Oh well. And... Huh? Who are you? You dare get in my way? Yeah, because you're a loser. Swimmer Kimberly. Okay. Ooh, dude's got a licky licky. Let's listen with that confusion. Um, I know I said I wasn't gonna do voice acting, but honestly... I feel like it's kind of taking away from the whole experience. Like, you not only paralyze me, but you also confuse me. Really? Really? Is that really necessary? Is that allowed? Um. But like, honestly, it feels like I'm rushing through shit a little too much. And though I kind of am, because these episodes are way too long for so little of what gets done. I just feel like, you know, maybe people want to enjoy some voice acting. Though, honestly, it's not going to be very good voice acting. Especially if people don't have freaking name tags, let me know who the fuck's speaking! Looks like I lost. Oh no, you made me look like a villain. You are. You're... They find out I was wasting time here, they'll make me start over as the lowest Team Rocket grunt. I better leave now. Dude, you are a bad guy. You must be chance, correct? That was indeed excellent, kind, and strong. Good at raising Pokemon as well. A person that, who does not look for in people. Wait, what? Oh well. Oh ho ho! That was just me thinking to myself. Never mind. No. Oh, I thought I needed. Oh, and here we go. Uh, wonderful! You're so courageous at your age. It was right. It was a rare sight to see. I want you to have this. Don't be shy. Take it. Too many old men giving you the weird shit. Usually they're phone numbers. Uh, that's Surf. It moves... Nah, uh, it moves... That lets Pokemon swim across water with ease. Yeah, I, I, I'm way out of the reading game. This, one of the reasons I stopped reading everything was because I stutter and trip with my words a lot. And I get embarrassed about it. So I just don't... Um, again, Heal Ball and that ball, I really don't care. Especially for Heal Balls. Are they ugly? Uh, let's get some great balls. We have nine, so let's put it up to 20. We got what, 229? Yeah, that's fine. Um, let's get like three revives because honestly, we, we, we're getting a little careless. Um, I think we only need super potion at the moment. Let's get that to 17. And then if we got super repels. You know, just in case we hit an area where, like, we don't need to train or something and just, like, Pokemon's constantly popping up all the time. Also, I forgot to buy those Pokeballs in groups of ten. Oh, well. So. What is it? We're four minutes in the episode? Alright, cool. Um, if I remember correctly, now we go down to Olivine City. And we're gonna get our... What badge? I'm... I think we have, like, five badges now? I forgot how short this region is. Also, I keep forgetting where my badges are, even though it should be on my trainer card. Like, they always are. Yep, no, we got four out of the eight. I don't know why I said five. We got four out of the eight possible uh, badges so far. Uh, 16, you know, if you know. Also, you know what? Um, since. We don't have. I think we can just use this. 
Oh, yeah. Well, I'm used to the new games where you could just use the uh, item from the menu. Um, but since we don't really have a good water type move, I think we're going to teach Quagsire Surf. Yeah, 40. Yeah, you know, let's give him Surf. Uh, I believe the move to leader and stuff is at uh, Blackthorn City, which. I mean, it's gonna take a while for us to get there, but, you know, by the time we want to learn something other than HM, well, well, um, this is a new route, which means a new encounter, Route 38 to Online City, um, what's this, Fistplate, we're getting, uh, I don't see why the RCS items aren't considered as bad items, quote-unquote, like, Unless you get an Arceus, you ain't using them. So our encounter for this route is a Weedle. Alright, let's get this over with. I mean, oh. Yeah. The, what, the Beedrill we caught at the Safari Zone or whatever didn't count. So, yeah, we'll, we'll just try and catch this. I'm not even going to bother hitting it because I feel like everything I have will just murder it in one shot. Two, three. I don't. Sorry. Sorry to click my tongue. Um, basically, every time I catch a Pokemon in the normal games, I'm used to like clicking my tongue or snapping whenever the ball actually catches a Pokemon. It's just a really bad habit to break. Um, along with mashing down and B, even though that doesn't work at all. Um, this Weedle will be called Needle. Actually, no. I don't know. You know what? Maybe Toxic. Because you've got a to Maybe You know, maybe this Weedle is kind of toxic. Maybe it has a toxic personality. I don't know. I actually, no. That, that's really trash. That's a trash name. Uh, let's call you Buggin. Because you're straight up Buggin. Also, because I'm never going to use you, so the nickname I need to give you doesn't have to be good. And now watch, now that we did that, there's going to be a legendary, right? Right? That's how it always goes. Eh, not Cacturn. Honestly, I would be happy. I would have preferred Cacturn. That would have been a good replacement for, uh... Bellsprout. Actually, I don't know. Uh, we're going to go through this whole route. Sorry, by the way. You know, I know. I know this is gonna take all episode, but you know, I gotta do it. I would have preferred a Venusaur! Come on! Also, we're still paralyzed. But I'd rather be paralyzed over. I don't know, poison? Yeah. We need to find a, uh. Experience share soon. Um, one of these Pokemon are gonna get left behind, and like, oh! I told you, there's always a fucking legendary after the first encounter, and I hate it. I would have loved Garantina. Garantina is my absolute favorite legendary for that's like up to this point, other than Ludia, of course. But like, come on, can you imagine what would happen if we got an origin form Garantina this early on? God, I'm so mad. Hit up with that confusion. Oh god, that's actually gonna hurt. Or not? Was, was Ghost just not super effective against Psychic at this point? Was Psychic not super effective against Ghost? He is Ghost Dragon! And again, like I said, like, this isn't an emulator thing either, like, I've played through, like, Silver and, like, Heart Gold Soul Silver normally, along with Jet 4 games, sometimes they just don't, the, the, like, it just doesn't work, like, or, I think it was, like, early on in the first gym, we had a, we found a, it was like the Kabudos, right? We hit it with, uh, Vine Whip, and it wasn't super effective when I was fighting in Bellsprout Tower, 
Oh, I'm probably honestly wrong about this completely and talking out of my ass. But then when we found the one in fucking uh, Ruins of Alf, we just one shot it with belt with a uh, Bell Sprout's Vine Whip. But the one in Bell Sprout Tower took like three or four hits. Like something's up with this. Also, I didn't get the intro battle. One more thing. Well, one more thing. One more thing. I just remembered. Um, even though I'm streaming Pokemon Coliseum randomized now, and again, I know I'm a little streaming, um, I will probably play through regular Pokemon Coliseum and the sequel in the future. Because honestly, I I don't think... Alright, so I want to talk about randomizers. Like, how they work for a bit. Like, for games up to Gen 5, as long as they're on like the Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, or DS, uh, there's a program called Pokemon Universal Randomizer, right? And you use that and you can randomize Pokemon. It's very easy to use, it's very simple, it's laid out very neatly, and you can randomize shit with so much ease. Um, with 3DS games, it is way more confusing than it needs to be. Um, there's like three or four tutorials that I watched that didn't work, but then like the fourth one was like, yeah, this is how you do it, and it worked fine. And even at then, like sometimes the... I don't know, because my friend and I were going to do a... Uh, not right, a soul link. But for some reason, like... I didn't choose to randomize some things like... in Pokemon... We were going to do Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I randomized the starter Pokemon, but I didn't randomize, like, their icons or whatever. So, like, it shows, like, a Poliwhirl, uh, Piplup, and then something else. But then when you actually choose them, it's a Whismur, uh, Soul Rock, and then, the, uh, I think a Squirtle or something. Like, it's, it's really wonky. And then sometimes, like, you won't be able to get the same settings you will on other things, either due to technical errors, like, for some reason my friend wasn't able to choose some of the settings I chose, because I'm like, you know what, where it's only gonna be an us thing, let's, like, double the chances, let's double the chances for shinies popping up. And he's like, I don't have a setting for that. I'm like, oh, well, fuck. <laughs> but for, um, there is a randomizer for Pokemon Coliseum, right? But the dude who made it, only made it for mech so unless you have a virtual machine you can't randomize it yourself which i have no idea how to set one of those up i think it's like partition part of your hard drive or some shit but like just, just like have it work properly or something just so it has enough space to work and stuff and then you need to have enough computer power to run two operating systems or some shit like that i don't know i don't know how it works fully so i'm probably like just just shitting this information out is completely wrong. But like... And like, the reason that he had for not making it for PC as well, or Windows, was like, I didn't feel like it. So I was like, well, shit. So when you want to play a randomized version of Pokemon Coliseum, you have to choose between files like A through D. And I just had someone choose one randomly without any context. I said, yo, dude, a through D, which, which letter? And he was like, B. And I was like, alright, B it is. And that's how I ended up with the C that I have now. But like, it really annoys me. There's no way to ra randomize Pokemon Coliseum on Windows. Like, someone made this weird application that kinda did it. Uh, you really go with that Pokemon. You want my phone number? Sure. Um, there was like a third, like, party application though it's re it was really sketchy you had to download this like installer and it would like open this third party app it was like open this then open you know pokemon and then click this button and then it will start randomizing stuff which honestly the whole th the whole time i thought i was getting like malware or something uh, all the settings it, like, it has like one of those real it's like, the program had, like, a really poorly done, like, optimi- uh, resol- It has a really bad resolution JPEG in the background, and then, like, text that meshes in with 
like the thing, so it's like you can't see what you're choosing half the time, and it just overall looks really ugly. And it like, but it does work though. It randomizes the Pokemon. But the problem is, is like a difficulty setting, and will only let you, like you start off with Pokemon. Normally in Pokemon Coliseum, it's like you have an Espeon, I think that's level 27, and an Umbreon that's level like 28. But the setting would always make it like, okay, so it's easy mode, you know. The opponents will have easier Pokemon for you to take down. It's like, all right, cool. But they're all like level one baby Pokemon. And then when you go to normal mode, it's they're all level 40. So they're just one-shotting you the whole time. And then when you go to like super hard mode, it's like impossible because they're all like level 100, but they still only start you off with like two random like Pokemon. They're only level 28, 7, and 28. And then when you go to normal, well, they're still like level 40, so it, and then like I think it actually lowers the level of your Pokemon. I was like, how am I supposed to use this? This is not good at all. This is garbage. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe there is a way to randomize Pokemon Coliseum that's easily easily done. By the way, I'm not looking to like go into like the run like the the game's files itself and like switch stuff up. I just want a nice easy way to do it. Oh shit, wait, I think this thing has levitate. Oh no, alright, cool. Oh, sorry about that, right? Oh well. Um. Let's see. Um, I was thinking. I, this is more stream talk. I don't want to talk about streams, but I kind of do want to talk about them. Um, I was thinking about playing. Po uh, not Pokemon. Majora's Mask. Um, I've never beaten Majora's Mask, I want to play a little bit of it, and, you know, just, I just wanted to, you know? And, I wanted to play the 3DS version and record it, and it used to run perfectly, but since the program I used updated, it apparently went down in quality, so now it, like, has minor hiccups here and there, and honestly, it's still playable, but I want a good experience, which is why I'm probably gonna hold off on, uh, the 3DS games for a long time. Whoa, that hurt a lot! Wow! Wow! Um, I don't think I used Mind Freak to fight this dude yet. I'm done with the confusion. Sorry about that. I, I keep going off topic, even though there wasn't really a topic in Christmas, but like, I kind of wanted to stick to talking about Pokemon, but like, there's so many other things I want to talk about. No, no. It's hard for me to keep a one-track mind. Yes! Confusion's what? 50 on 800? What is this? 65 100? Yes! It's only a little bit better, but it's still better! Good job, Sire. Burmy. Burmy, 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 Burmy. is a bug, so... Jim! Yo, that's be so. I fucking. I never knew how to get another version of Burmian Pokemon. Diamond and Pearl. I was like, where, where did he come from? Uh, but, like, Diamond and Pearl, for some reason, whenever I went to go catch Burmian, I was only able to catch one version. Um, it's probably because I was just looking in the wrong area or something. But. Mm. Then again, it could also be, like, the, uh. What's the moth and. Not the moth, but Vivillion in Pokemon X and Y. I, I don't know, I was trying to get all the forms of that, but then I realized, you know, I can't because it's locked to your 3 guesses location or some shit like that. Oh my god. Bruh, what is. Bruh, how are you getting protect so often? Isn't his fucking accuracy, accuracy supposed to go down by half every time you use it success, it's like successfully, so you just can't use it back to back like that? Ew, I, I cry. Good job, Jim. You know what, you might, you might actually have some, like, hope. Ooh. Uh, what's up, this is Valeria. Uh, you know, a lot of people misunderstand. I may seem like the fire breather. The fire breather from the burn tower, I think. 
can literally spend a lot of time fighting that dude just to get the fucking the white apricorn. I need, I need blue apricorns. What am I doing? Come on. And we're just gonna run from this battle. Hopefully, it's not another Garantina. And Cacturn. All right. I wish we. Yeah. As much as I would love Garantina, you know, Cacturn would have been. All right. Um, we're not gonna fight. Uh, actually, you know, let's heal. Let's heal and fight that dude. This episode is gonna be a little longer than usual because I at least want to get to All Vine City. You know, not waste your time completely. Um, Rito can stay fainted. Honestly, I don't think he's gonna be that. I think Ben. Is uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be hurting when I use him. So it's. I, I like I want to avoid caps, but at the same time I want to make sure I have enough money so I can at least like keep shit going. Um, this could be good, but either way, Sire, this is the perfect Pokemon for you. No, I'm not saying much, but I'm. You know, I think Sire's got what it takes to go all the way, you know? He's probably gonna be on our team to the very end, to be honest. Yo, wait! Doesn't he evolve at level 30? No, wait, no? Yeah, sure, whatever. Um... I don't think... I don't remember when... The Tang evolves. New route. New route. Oh. New route means new Pokemon. New Pokemon means possible guarantee. What's this do? Uh. Oh, but... oh, what you're holding is what I call a Pokedex. Haven't seen one of those in ages. My name's Babo. Bob. 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 I don't know. I used to run a surprise on Fuchsia City, but I was coming out of date with the entertainment option that coming out. Uh, I decided to go overseas and learn the newest technology and open a state-of-the-art safari zone in Cinewood. Uh, it may be more than a coincidence, but we, that we are chatting. Why don't we register each other's numbers in the poker here? I can give you a call the safari zone is open. I can call anyone? Sure. Ba- Bauba. Bauba. I'll let you know over the poker here once you're ready. Cool. I guess. Um... We haven't. Oh, that's what I was. Wow, I'm an idiot. I was like, man, we don't have any berries. We haven't encountered any berries. And then I remember we got the berry pots. Um, oh yeah, we don't have any fertilizer, so I'll just plant berries. Um. Yeah. So the way I plant berries basically is like. If I only have one of one berry, I always plant it, and then if I want, like, lepa berry. When it comes to berry farming, I basically only plant lepa berries, to be honest. Like, they're the only po they're the only berries I really use. Gotta make sure. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm messing with berries, is because here. There is a sick milk tank, and you can give it a berry a day. Well, I'll be right back. And we're back. And as I was saying, here there is a milk tank that's sick, and you can give it berries, and it will get better over time. Um, so there, I think there's supposed to be a little girl in here taking care of the milk tank. Uh, she needs orange berries. Yeah. Yeah. We can give it a milk tank. We can give milk tank an orange berry every so often, and I think it will get better. Also, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. There's an item down here, and this is a iron. Oh, yeah, we can use that. Um, I don't know what, but we can use that. And it seems like before this episode ends. Just... Alright, we're gonna end the episode on the on an encounter and then go to All the City, and then the next one we're gonna come back and refight all these people. And our encounter is 
Yo. I actually want a Luxray. Like, he looks dope. Uh, let's go in with... I want to say Jim, but if he gets hit, he's going to be screwed pretty bad. I don't think Quagsire's going to hurt him too much with a Body Slam. Yeah, so let's hit him with a Slam. And hope that really doesn't... Alright, yeah, let's, let's... No more. No moss. Oh wait, and he's fast Pokemon, so... You know, oh, I think he's fast. He's always, like, thought of as fast. Either way, we got him. We got him, boys. Look how edgy he is. He's such an edgy boy. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna call you Shadow, because you'll be Shadow the Hedgehog. That's a Pokemon we can use later on. And then Legendary, right? Is that how it's gonna work? Is that how it's gonna work? Oh, Cherim. Yeah, I think we'll take Luxray over a Cherim any day. But now we have Pokemon. Well, we, if we wanted to, we could have something for flying type Pokemon. And we are at Olivine City. Now we can get a new. Well, you again. There's no need to be alert. I don't bother with wimps like you. Speaking of weaklings, the gym leader isn't here and supposed to be taking care of sick Pokemon at the lighthouse. Boo hoo! Just let a sick Pokemon in. Okay, that'll it's worthless. Why don't you go train at the lighthouse? Who knows? Maybe it'll make you a bit of a better trainer. Thank God. Um, so yeah, as you heard, the Pokemon that take care of the lighthouse is sick and we cannot take on the gym until it is better. So we're not going to take on the gym. We're gonna heal, we're gonna grab the new fishing rod, and then we're done! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Thank you. Okay. Also, I wanted to make sure Luxray doesn't have a hold item on him. Ooh, see that does. And those guys, items are the ones I gave them, so this is a TM-91. Also, what do you do? Fucking one bag. TM-91 is ring out! Uh, pass. I think it's solid. I think, it'll, I think each TM is worth like 2,500. Look at that transition from day to night, isn't it? So it's flawless, it's just different. Um, I think one of these people want to trade. I know someone wants to trade in this town. I think they want like a Volt Orb for something. Yeah. So I thought I had the... Uh... Magmar. Oh, if we get a Magmar, that's gonna be good. Yeah, I could have sworn that there was a fishing rod around here, but all right. You know, uh, I want to say I'll be right back, but I feel like as soon as I do that, there's gonna be there's, then we're gonna find it. Honestly, it could be this house right here. Yeah. Let's see if I told you. So let's equip that to register slot two. And then we're final finally gonna to leave the episode at that. Um so, 
Thank you all for watching. If you're new, hit that subscribe button so you can catch more videos in the future. Hit that bell button to make sure you get notifications when this is going live. Hit the like button if you actually enjoyed the episode. You know, shows me that, you, that you're actually enjoying stuff. Follow me on Twitter for updates on series and if new stuff will be delayed, stuff like that. Follow me on Twitch if you want to catch live streams of me either drawing, playing Pokemon, or whatever. I don't know, some one day I might randomly play something. Who knows? And I hope you all had a wonderful time, and until next time, bye-bye.